So we have a 4T65E Kevin Yoder. Uh, this transmission was taken apart actually when it was brought in uh, in the parking lot. It would uh, periodically stop moving. Here's what we have in the pan. Uh, you can see there's a ton of ton of metal uh, in the pan. Looks like something uh, something came apart. You can see the magnets all loaded up with metal as well. Uh, just looking at the unit, potentially the uh, the converter because I don't see anything else that looks blown up in the gear train. But that material chewed up a lot of a lot of stuff inside the unit, bushing wise and all. And I have some pictures that I'll forward along uh, to show that. You can look at the end of this uh, this input drum here. You see how the bushing has a bit of wear. That's a pretty good indication that there was material uh, between the inner bore that uh, bushing there and uh, the component rotating inside of it. So uh, in addition, you can see that there's uh, some delamination of friction material. Here's the band, you can see in the band here, bands burn up pretty good. So, uh, you know, typical wear and tear that we see on these, uh, this having supercharged motor uh, with the additional power output uh, could be a contributing factor, but this is somewhat, you know, sometimes what you find even with a transmission that may not have a lot of miles on it, you see that this is the, uh, the, the clutches for uh, fourth gear, and these clutches themselves actually are uh, pretty burnt up. You can see that the, 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 the steels themselves are hot spotted, so uh, go through this transmission, do the Transco Recal update package, and have a transmission that should be functionally better than what it was from GM.